This is a large red spider mite and these spider mites can grow up to um, 15 millimetres in length. This footage was shot in the Kosciuszko National Park of Australia and um, these are one of the largest spider mites in the world. Now there are about 12,000 different species of spider mites and um, they're related to ticks and spiders. They can live for one to several years depending on the species. Now these little guys are often mistaken for spiders and ticks, um, however they don't actually bite. They actually feed on um, the plant cells and the plant juices and this can be a pest for gardeners um, as they in large numbers can actually destroy plant crops. They're most active uh, during the hot, dry, warmer summer months, um, but you'll also see them after rain. Um, the life cycle of the spider from um, spider mite from spider to egg takes about three weeks. Um, and the male and female depends on whether the egg is fertilised. Unfertilised eggs develop into male and fertilised eggs develop into females, which is pretty interesting. Um, the mites are sometimes mistaken for spiders um, because of the habit and spinning loose um, silk webbing. Now what's interesting about the spider mite is um, that they're bright red and you'd think that during the day um, being this colour you'd stand out considerably. Now that is true, but um, a lot of insects with bright colours usually come with the warning that they don't taste very good and this is um, indicated with the um, red spider mite. And you'll actually notice um, if you spend a bit of time checking these guys out that they're not actually even attacked by many other insects including um, ants and stuff which um, seem to habit the same kind of trees that they do. If you spend a little bit of time watching them you'll notice that they do a fair bit of travelling. Um, they'll be up a tree, along a tree branch, down the tree, up a nearby shrub. And one of the things they're looking for is the silk path laid down by the males. Um, so the adult male um, releases their sperm package onto um, twigs or stalks and the ritual is followed by the male laying down a silk path to that package. Um, when the female spots um, this silk path, um, she will follow it to the sperm package and check out the male. If the male is to her liking, she will sit in the sperm. If another male comes along and spots this silk path, he will actually destroy the sperm package and replace it with his own. Now another interesting thing about spider mites is that they actually spin silk from their mouths. Um, spiders spin silk from their abdomens and the silk is as strong as that of a spider's yet the silk from the mite can be 100 to 400 times thinner. They're important to the ecosystem. Um, by feeding on insects, um, they eat the fungi and bacteria on plants and they sim um, stimulate the decomposition process. Spider mites um, can eat many different plant species and they actually have genes capable of detoxifying pesticides and toxins and using these toxins to defend themselves. And they actually have genes that are similar to that of the bacteria and fungi that they consume. I hope you have a little bit more of an appreciation of the spider mite. If you would like more videos like this then please subscribe to my channel.